Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, it's morning here where I live, and uh, it might be night where you live, but anyway, it's Thursday, May 14th at 8.32. Okay, um, I'm listening to a video from Israeli News Live. He's finally getting to be live. He hasn't been live in a long time because of things he shared and such. And he is discussing what really happened because he was attacked, and so was one of their guests. Okay. Um, he explained it was when he got rid of the cell phone and unplugged all the Wi-Fi in, uh, internet stuff, it quit his heart. They were trying to take him out. So I want you to listen to this little section. It's only 11 tw minutes, 27 seconds. I mean, but um, you may not agree with his biblical teachings. I don't always, but uh, his other stuff I think is good. And apparently he's telling the truth or why take him out. Anyway, I'm going to let you listen to a couple of minutes and then I'll just end it. Okay, so I'll keep my part short. Okay, here he's talking about, um, well, I'm not sure where I stopped it. Oh, the coming election. Listen to this. I didn't know that I was about to be targeted, and they tried to let me know, so I would take precautions. Unfortunately, I did not heed that warning very well, uh, but it was the case. Uh, let me also kind of bring up the speed on something because we did a little catching up as well when I had this time. And uh, But I, I do want you to be aware because there's so many people that are really hoping that Trump gets back in. That, uh, but it's looking like that the people in power already know who's going to be in power next. Uh, I can't say with 100% certainty, but it looks like that Hillary will be the running mate for Joe Biden. Uh, I do know that Obama and Hillary have been... Just my honest opinion, but I don't think Hillary's capable of being anything. Not even a babysitter for her grandchildren. So if there is a person that runs alongside Biden, you can bet it will be a body double or a clone, whichever. And advising President Trump, believe it or not. But it looks like that Hillary will be the running mate for Joe Biden. Uh, I do know that Obama and Hillary have been advising President Trump, believe it or not. And he's actually going by some of their advice. Uh, that was a shock for me to hear that. But then again, it just kind of made me realize, well, put her in jail. Nope, that's not happening. Uh, and what is Obama doing getting heavily involved in uh, issues uh, of national security in the White House. Hmm, makes everybody go, hmm, doesn't it? Uh, but yes, you know he's very why. much actively behind the scene, uh, very much in what's going on. Uh, also, another thing that I was made aware of is that Christian broadcasts, such as what we do here on Israeli News Live, will very soon be totally shut down on YouTube. YouTube is going to remove every single faith-based ministry on YouTube. So if you have wondered whether or not we're really being targeted, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Uh, Obama and Hillary both are behind that. Um, and uh, Trump, although maybe he's tried to do a little good here and there, uh, but... The issue is, is nobody really knows what side he's really on. Uh, so. Well, I'm going to end it there. Um, you can believe what he says or not, but they tried to kill him for a reason. And like I said, one of his guests. And, you know, these people that are at the top and the powers that be, as we call them, uh, they they will take you out if they don't like what you're saying. They won't just take your channel off and shut you up. Now, what am I supposed to do? Okay, if I 
heed this warning. He said he did not, he got inside information in a roundabout way because, see, all the video I just finished watching, I'd started it last night, I finished it this morning, was talking about how we're being. Uh, it's got snippets of different things, but Edward Snowden was in there talking about why he had to come clean and tell what the CIA and others were doing and how they know everything we say, everything we watch, everything you research online. They know everything. They have all your phone conversations recorded. It's ridiculous. I mean, and he's saying how if you make, say I make a video and I speak against one thing that they really, really don't want spoken against. Maybe it's something about the COVID-19. I don't know. Just pick a subject. They can go back and look at all of my videos and gather Okay, this here sentence and that that sentence there will help build a case. And oh, this sentence here. And the next thing I know, I'm in court or something. I guess it would be court. They built a case against me based on snippets of information. Never mind. It's like people cherry picking the Bible, pulling out one verse that Jesus said, um, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, uh, see, no, no, that's not the one. Uh, what's the one? Um, and you will be saved. Uh, something, 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 and you will be saved. Okay, if you just take that one verse and cling to it, and you forget everything else that Jesus said to do or not to do, and to repent, and so on, then you're, that's what they're doing. They're cherry picking, or they can, is what Edward Snowden was saying. And I'll link that video also. I'll tell you what it was in case anybody wants to know. Let me pull up my history. It should be the very first one. No, because it rolled over to something else. Okay. It's by... Uh, Legal argument for killing American citizens overseas without a trial. Yeah, and then he finds out, no. Oh, listen to this. This is a rant. Oh, no. Dismiss. I don't know why I have an alarm set for 840. Huh. Anyway, oh, listen to this. This is this is actually a Fox News. Uh, I know you. I used to watch you all the time, and my mind can't think of it. Uh, oh, forget it. Listen to his rant. But what about targeting people on U.S. soil? Can they now kill American Shepherd. citizens inside the country? Shepard Smith. Think is it three? The head of the FBI, when asked about that on Capitol Hill yesterday, stumbled around on this. Does that only apply to U.S. citizen that's overseas, or does that apply to U.S. citizen that's here? I'd have to go back. I, I, uh, I I'm not certain whether that was addressed or not. So that you, we have clarity here. He is not certain whether it was addressed. Whether our government can kill our own people inside our own country. This really needs to be addressed. We can't just answer this question. No, the government doesn't kill our own people. We have a process for this. It's called the justice system. You file charges, you lock them up, you try them before a jury of their peers, and then that's how they don't kill our own people. Not a way. Justice system. You Oops. file. That was his rant on, on um, I don't know if that was his program. It says Studio B. Yeah, that's Studio B with Shepard Smith. Uh, he is so thin. That man is either gotten anorexic, can't eat from all he knows, or 
you know, doing something that's keeping him from being hungry. But anyway, he doesn't look too good to me. But I'll, I'll link this video as well because it goes into bits and pieces. See, this is the very beginning of it. And it is called, for those of you who cannot see the description box, let me give you the channel first. Okay, if you want to get a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen, Medea Greer, M-E-D-E-E-A space, capital G-R-E-E-R-E, -E -E -E, Medea Greer. She only has 880 subscribers. So she hasn't been on this, at this long. Okay, here's the title, which we'd heard about this before, but it, it like I said, it's, it's little short pieces of things she's pulled out of different videos, which is pretty hard to do. It takes time. Capital A, capital M, capital G. I'm not sure what that, A-M-G news video okay colon capital u capital n un backslash fema prisoner box cars with shackles guillotines and the new world order all right so that's another one, only 22 minutes, 11 seconds. So together, they're just barely over a half hour. So what do I do? Go to Patreon, Brighteon? Is Are they going to be able to stop? Do you think that they're really going to be any better? You know, if they shut me down, they shut me down. Those channels, for some reason, I don't know if you have to do it, if they encourage you to do it or what, but they want you to pay so much to the person. And that could be their choice because I'm writing on, I go and watch Kathy and Dan, let's see, is it Dan, Kathy and Dan, and I can never remember their channel name, and I don't pay any money to them. So you can sign up, get yourself an account, and watch videos on Brighty on forever how long they let them stay up. I don't see them allowing any of them to stay up. But you know what? I think it's all going to be after the rapture. That's my personal opinion on that. So, um, let's see. I think I said all I was going to for this one. Oh, S Steve's video, if you want to know it, is... What really happened, I guess that's in regards to how they tried to kill him, Israeli News Live. All right, that's the name and channel for that one. Okay, so I'm going to end this here. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over it so it'll go up. So you all will know and understand our time is coming to an end. And that's good news for us. Not so good for those left behind. There's so many people not ready because they're still living in the world. They don't love Jesus most. Or even if they do, they're not loving their neighbor as their self. They're, they're prideful that they do what they do. I mean, it's a whole ball of wax. He said, be holy for I am holy. Um, that video I put up about it's a few videos ago I added a comment which was a scripture about nothing unholy or blemished uh, I can't quote it but I put it as a comment and there were no comments no likes nothing so i encourage you to try to read the comments 
when you can. I know there's not a lot of time in the day to watch the videos, much less read the comments. But you can learn stuff and get conversations going. And that's how you fellowship with each other. By you and say something about their comment. So they can come back and say something to you and so forth. And you form a relationship with somebody. Even though it's you can't see their face. You're learning what they think. And that helps you to decide who you want to converse with. And look for in the next video. You know, that's our way of fellowshipping. How else? You know, I, I see these live streams, and I've done live streams a couple times. And some people will reply to each other's and get a thing going over here. But then when that starts happening, you're no longer listening to the message. So I'm not so sure that's such a good idea. Why well, have a chat going? Unless it's one like Joni does, uh, where she's praying for people, and you put down your prayer request, so she sees it, or her moderator does, and, and lets her know there's a prayer request here for such and such and so and so. And then some people beneath that person will say, I'll be praying for you, so-and-so. Me too. I'll be prayers going up for you now. That's different. As long as somebody's letting her know you're putting up a prayer request and it doesn't distract something the Lord is having her to say. You see, I don't really like the chat. When I was still a member of... Church of the Highlands, which has grown so exponentially huge, online people like myself, who was, left my husband, I left him the vehicle, I could no longer go. So I joined them on Sunday and whenever they had something going online. And I would have to, uh, what I'd say is at the beginning, I'd say hi. How's everybody? I chat a little. And then as soon as the preacher came on, I said, Okay, it's starting. Gotta go big. Which meant I was going to hit the little icon in the corner that makes it, you know, the whole screen turns into the church service. And that's how it should be. People shouldn't be chatting over here. And this is just my personal opinion. Maybe it's because I'm old. I mean, really. When I was young, I thought 64 was old. Now I don't think so much, think that so much because of where I live. You know, I'm like almost the youngest person here besides my friend down the hall. There, well, and a young lady or two on, or I think there's a couple on third floor that are in their 30s, maybe, that are have CP, need total care. That's different. Anyway, everybody else is like in their 80s, even 90s. and not, So, you know, I feel really young. But the point is, I think that just chatting during a service or a message being given on YouTube is like teenagers sitting in church talking to each other. How can you possibly get the message, especially if it's a sermon, if you're sitting over here chatting, you're chatting. To me, it was like so disturbing. I couldn't do it. I tried doing it, keeping the chat open in, in a church service or two. And it was just like having a couple teenagers behind me chatting back and forth, you know. Anyway, that's just me. Maybe you can do it. Maybe my mind is just so wild. <laughs> one track I can't pay, pay pay attention to both but anyway I I'm gonna end it here I've talked way too long I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over myself and my computer I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and all of your devices and your internet connections and in and um 
I think we'll be on here until the rapture. And I think it's real soon. I think it has to be. And they may be planning to take down every faith-based YouTube channel. And I just can't believe Brideon and uh, the others are going to be allowed to stay up. They have control over all of it. Don't you see? I, I just, you know, if the Lord allows us to be taken down before the rapture, you just spend your time in the Word and in prayer and in praise and worship knowing we have but a little time, and the Lord may want you all to himself for a little time. So don't be discouraged. Praise, pray, and pray. <laughs> Let's see, how did I put it? Spend time with him in prayer, praise and worship. My mind just went blank. I thought I said three things. Oh, and in the word. <laughs> Reading. <laughs> okay, that's not a P word. Okay, so bye for now, y'all. I will talk to you later.